Hey guys, Kai Shinkert here. Thanks for tuning in to listen to my story. Firstly, I just want to thank all of you who've come back to support my channel. You know, it just shows how how much you are an awesome person. So particularly thanks to Dead Green Customs, Jedi Detective, Dragon's Roar, Out of Step with Reality, Will Reed, and all of you others who've come back and you know in the future I expect to mention you in other ways. So I started this new channel in uh, February, I, I registered it, but I didn't actually start uploading till March um, and you'll notice that the videos in March and April were all videos from my old channel um, because they had branding of the old channel, you know they had uh, <laughs> mentions of like 3,000 subscribers, you know subscribe thing in, in the bottom right corner um, and these are oh, that side. These are actually videos from my old channel that I thought I'd re-upload because they were good content and timeless. So you know, I hope you've enjoyed um, watching those videos, guys. And I'm glad now, though, that we're on the other side where there's new content coming out for you guys to watch. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so let's go through the story of wh when this happened and my YouTube channel delete. So I was active on uh, YouTube from September 2015 till August, in fact, the 26th of August 2017, um, and I was covering you know all kinds of stuff in Dragon Ball as Kai Shin Kurt. So on that day, Saturday the 26th of August at around 10:30 a.m. I deleted my channel, my Instagram, my Twitter page, my Facebook page, and at the time I had about 6,700 subscribers, and I'd probably put in a couple of thousand hours over those, you know, two years whilst I was at uni, and uh, I, I purchased about 2,000 in terms of equipment because the PC was quite expensive. Then I got the camera, the the microphone up here, the audio recorder sits underneath the camera. Uh, and so, you know, I was left with all that um, aftermath of like, wow, you know, <laughs> this is big. This is big what I've done. Um, but fortunately, I was able to repurpose the equipment that I had for my job at the time uh, as it was a university placement. But I'm going to go into more detail about why. So what happened was I spent 2015-16 in uni, 16-17 in uni. So I did two years and I did YouTube for most of them. And then... Uh, in my third year of uni, it was something called a placement year. So that's where you go out into the industry um, that you're, you know, you're, you're training to be in and you work for a company for a year. So that's what I did. So I was working 40 hours a week um, and then I also had to um, work another job 12 hours on a Saturday. So that was 52 hours a week in total working. Um, that was to get extra money to save for the final year of uni where I had a lot of fees to pay because of you know the tuition, the, the accommodation, all that stuff. If you've been to uni, you'll understand. Um, so I had all that going on. So basically, the only time I had for YouTube was after I got back from work. And that was often only about two, one, well, maybe one to three hours every night. And you see, what was happening was 95% of my free time was spent on the YouTube. And that was fine, but, you know, I, it, it, I got burnt out eventually because I was doing things in a very intensive way. I was so paranoid um, about, like, getting the details wrong in the videos. You remember that some of the last videos I did were actually these super sign transformation ones and they required a lot of research because although you know the show you think like oh you know there might be some little tidbit of information in an episode in, you know in the subtitles or it might be in the manga you know just something like you know you've forgotten and then so I was like paranoid that I get the details wrong so I had to keep watching and and uh, reading the manga taking screenshots and all this stuff and just to make it right and, and pinpoint it because I wanted the videos to be good I wanted them to be factual I wanted them to be correct not just you know, faint things from a mind or what I'd heard other people say. I wanted the evidence for the, for the view viewers to, to know the, the truth about actually these things. And I'm also quite a perfectionist when it comes to editing. So those videos, even though the old versions from two years ago compared to now looked really bad, they were my best effort at that time. And, you know, I put all kinds of intricate things in them. And, you know, it ended up being that it could take you know, maybe 10 hours in a week to research the video, get all the materials together, then like another two, three hours to script a video, those big long ones, because they were like between 10 and 20 minutes, that's huge. 
Um, and then I'd have to record it, which was fairly easy. But then the editing like took eight hours straight. Um, and so that's why I was only able to get like the best one video a week or, you know, it was usually like once every two weeks. So it was just so intense and I just got burnt out after a while. The thing was that the real reason why I deleted my channel was because I made a commitment to God. He showed me the reality of what was going on. He showed me that my desires were to do, you know, so well on YouTube and, and you know, that was my, like, my kind of like dream, my goal. And that was what I was putting everything into. I was despising my university studies. I was despising my job. I, I was, my mind was elsewhere. And I wasn't putting effort, the best effort into things that really do matter. You know, income is so important. Education is so important. And when you've got the, the time where you've got to learn those things, you've got to put the best effort in. Now I'm out of those things. I've finished. And by God's grace, he gave me, you know, the best grade, the top grade, uh, which is over here called the first class. And, you know, I just thank God for that. He gave me a way of seeing the reality of my life. And he, he showed me to change and he does this not to be harsh. He's a loving father. He does this to protect and to bless his his uh, you know his his creation, which is us. So you know he showed me that, and I quickly thought about it and I saw yes, this is right. I want to do well. I want to end strong in university. I want to end strong in this year-long placement job uh, for the uni. So I decided yes. I'm going to follow what you said, Lord, and I'm going to do it. So that's how the real reason came about for deleting the channel. And it was a big thing. But the best way is to respond quickly. You don't want to analyze and think it over too much because um, then you'll get convinced that it's not the right thing to do and you'll carry on. And, you know, I just would not want to think what the result would have been for me at uni if I had have continued doing uh, YouTube videos like that in that kind of very burnt out destructive form uh, and so you know this is the reason why I quit guys and uh, you know I just I just wanted to fill you in on why it happened because you deserve to know you deserve to know straight up and you might ask me well, why didn't you just leave the channel live but you know just not upload or something well I did think about that for a brief moment at the time and I thought, you know, if it stays there, I'll be constantly tempted to go back to it and upload because of the, you know, keep the dream alive, you know, oh yeah, you've got to upload, you've got to upload, you've got to, you know, be consistent, you've got to be hitting great videos one after the other, uh, you know, you've got to get, you know, all this blah, blah, blah in your mind. You know, you have a goal, but you've got this horrible kind of force in your mind trying to, you know, almost make you a slave to something and I had to break out of that and say no that is not right so what I I realized I just had to delete it follow the God's word and delete it so it was done because <laughs> if you finished it and you've lost all your subscribers you lost all your social media you lost all your videos <laughs> all your ranking all your views you're not going to start it again so that leads me to the question that you're probably asking like why have you come back again? Why have you come back? And the reason is, guys, uh, one is because I finished uni. I've now got my own business and I have a job as well, which is just part time, pay the bills and that. And, you know, I want to just uh, I, I like I like making creative things. I really like media and I kind of miss that I was not using those skills. And, you know, throughout my placement year, I was actually working in a food factory making training videos in the food safety and food quality in the factory environment. So throughout that whole year, despite finishing YouTube nearly at the start of it, I was actually using those skills all, all the way through. So then another year went past and I didn't use them in my final year of uni. But now that I'm back, you know, here, I'm back at home living with my mum because, you know, it saves money. <laughs> You're 24 and you're living with your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it saves, it saves money because today the money is so pressured and, you know, we help each other out and we, you know, it helps me too. So I'm saving money through the business. I'm saving money through my job. 
and you know I'm just enjoying making videos so I'm back to making uh, making use of those skills that I used to have and you know I'm just really enjoying making videos and another reason why I'm back is because I miss the community interaction and missed you know interacting with you guys I wanted to talk about Dragon Ball I still do like Dragon Ball and actually this Moro arc the Galactic Prisoner Patrol arc you know I really have I liked it and I've read it you know since it started in 2018 I've just I've just really liked it and I thought you know what I'd like to talk about that arc so at the start I was thinking I might do one video a month covering the manga but then I was thinking well if you're going to do something you may as well do it well so I was thinking of ways how can I make this channel manageable how can I make it so it's not a life takeover how can I make it so that it isn't something that is enslaving me how can I be clever about it? How can I create strategies that manage this to, you know, a couple of days a week? Um, and so I'm still able to help out with whatever I need to here. I can do the business. I can go to work. And I don't feel so pushed, you know? So I've, I thought about that a lot. And I developed strategies. And, you know, you'll, you'll be seeing the results of that now. So basically, I won't be publishing videos that are more than like six minutes long it's going to be short videos but in that way you're always going to hopefully get a video every two days and it's going to be consistent and you won't see as much on camera like this there will be bits in the videos where i'm there but it's mostly going to be scripted very concise uh, but at least you'll be able to see me guys you know back and doing videos and the other reason why I'm back as well is because I wanted to test some theories about how to be a YouTuber and how to make videos and how to do well. So I'm testing them as well. I've got some hypothesis or hypotheses um, about this. So I'm testing them in the background and that's just for me to understand and know. So these are the reasons why I'm back, guys. And so I'm really excited to be back. I'm thank you so much for your support. You know, those of you once again who've come back to support me, I'm just so humbled and so blessed to have you. Um, because at this early stage, being such a small channel, it's actually a little bit difficult to get off the ground to get the traction going. So, you know, when if you ever say to me, "Oh, you know, you should have more subscribers. You should have anything," you know, I okay, thank you so much. But I don't expect to you know, have a surge of subscribers till next year sometime because in this year I've just got to upload, you know, videos consistently that are well researched uh, in terms of what how they'll do on YouTube um, and then I will, you know, just keep uploading and if something should happen earlier than that, then that's fine. But, you know, thank you for any encouragement, any thank yous that you give me it's really, really appreciated and it's really humbling. So I just want to say thank you for your support and thanks for tuning in to listen to my story. And now I hope that you understand why some more, uh, why I quit YouTube in 2017. And I just hope that it was clear. Um, I'm not very good always at getting my thoughts out, but I just want to say thanks for your support. So cheers guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.